Would you like to stop being an angry mom? The solution may not require years of therapy. I have help ahead. I'm Dr. Melanie Wilson, Christian psychologist turned homeschooling mom of six. I was so angry the day I discovered that my son hadn't completed his math assignments in months. He'd been cheating. He'd been lying about it. And I was so mad. I yelled at him. I let him have it. I threatened him if he ever even thought about doing something like that again. I was also angry when I discovered that another son of mine had been taking his clean laundry and dumping it immediately into his dirty clothes hamper so he wouldn't have to fold the clothes or hang them up as he had been instructed. I let him have it. <laughs> he had really disappointed me and absolutely made me mad. But I didn't feel better after getting angry at my kids. I felt bad. It isn't that my kids hadn't done anything wrong. They had, but I didn't want to yell at them. I didn't want to hurt our relationship. I didn't want to lose control. I wanted to be able to train them calmly. Can you relate? I wanted to live out the words of 2 Timothy 2.24 in my homeschool. And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful. I had certainly failed in that regard. I was so angry about my kids' behavior. So what was the solution? First, I shouldn't have been surprised that my kids were trying to get out of doing work. I created a whole video on this topic that will help you keep your cool. But second, I realized I wasn't mad at my kids. Nope. I was mad at myself. I should have been checking my kids' work. Yes, I want independent, responsible kids, just like you do. But it would have just taken me a moment to check to make sure that my son was doing his math and that my other son was folding his clothes and hanging them up as he had been instructed. If I would have been checking that intermittently, I could have made sure that they were both on track and I wouldn't have gotten so angry that things had gotten really out of control. The solution wasn't for me to be angry at myself though. I was behaving a lot like my kids. I was trying to get out of work I didn't enjoy. I didn't want to discourage myself by being down on myself. Instead, what I needed to do was to see checking my kids' work as something that belonged in my routine. A system of repeating the same tasks in the same order each day to make those behaviors automatic. To make checking tasks a habit, I started following that process of checking my kids' work with something that I really enjoyed, reading aloud to my kids. I also made it easier for me to develop that habit by making the checking task shorter. I only checked one student's work during our individual time. I wasn't trying to check all my kids' work at one go. And that allowed me to make it a routine. To stop being an angry homeschool mom, ask yourself what you're really angry about. Are you angry at yourself? If so, ask yourself what you're not doing that you know you should be and include that in your homeschool routine. Make the task smaller and follow it with something that you truly enjoy doing. In the Organized Homeschool Life, I help you create a workable homeschool routine. Using the accompanying planner, I help you plan when you're going to do those dreaded tasks. I help you prioritize relationships over the tasks, and I even help you plan a reward for yourself after a day well spent. You can find the link to these resources in the description for this video. Use code YouTube to save $5 off your purchase. Before you go, I hope you will subscribe for even more 
homeschool sanity tips.